If you're one of those people who are a lot more comfortable speaking or talking to somebody through text, email, or any type of written format instead of speaking with somebody, because sometimes they don't understand what you're saying, even though you're pretty much saying the exact words that are in a text or an email or some sort of text messaging, it's probably because of your intonation. And the intonation is the rise and fall of your tones when you are speaking. As you can imagine, different languages have different tones that they typically use. In American English, we typically use eight. So that is the exercise we're going to go over, but I want to give you a quick example of this. I'm going to use the word okay. And based on using the same word, I'm going to do different intonations and you can catch what I'm trying to say to you. So these are uptones, downtones, and etc. and pitch glides. But I'll explain all of that in a second. Neutral tone. Okay. Agreeing. Okay. Questioning. Okay. Annoyed. Okay. Irritated. Okay. Uncertain. Okay. Insecure. Okay. Forceful. Okay. Confirmation. Okay. As you can see, the same word okay can mean very different things depending on your intonation. Depending on the message that you want to come across, you want to say things in a very particular way. That being said, a lot of people asked me in the past about leadership. So this is when it comes to presentations or when it comes to talking to clients, that is a certain tonal type. I talk about downtones and uptones and neutral tones, but that's only when it comes to the end of a sentence, right? So I'll link that video down below how to speak like a leader if that's something you're interested in. So that will be in the description. That aside, within your sentence in general, you want to vary up your tonality because if you don't, you're just so boring. <laughs> Nobody wants to be monotone. Also, as a side note, when it comes to accent reduction, it has to do with intonation primarily as well as mouth posture placement, but that will be on another video or if you're interested in my upcoming course, or if this is a month later, then I've already posted it. I'll put that in the description down below. So make sure to check that out. Let's get right into the exercise. If you are a singer, by the way, try not to sing it. And then we're going to do the singing version later on. For this one, do not sing it, just speak it. Do it with me. We're gonna start with the low and then go high first. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna do the same thing coming down 10 times. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now let's go ahead and do pitch glides. So pitch glides are grouped in. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Okay, do it 10 times each with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Again, 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 one, two, three, four. Now let's do the same pitch glides, but this time we're gonna go down. Four, three, two, one. Again, 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 four, three, two, one. By the way, these exercises paired with my tongue twisters are the best way to practice it in real life. The point is that you train your muscle to do these tonations and then you go ahead and use them with my words. If you watch my videos with the tongue twisters along with my PDF, I have free down below in the description, then you can go ahead and practice this every morning and you can do it along with hearing my tonations. It's something that you're gonna start to hear more so than ever now that you're doing it and you're practicing it and you're exercising it. So if you can do this every morning along with your tongue twisters, it's going to produce the best results. Now let's go into the fun exercise and this you can sing if you'd like to, but we're scaling it to, with the ABCs. So it goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. All right. You don't have to be a singer and you can speak it out. But the point being that you want to go da 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 a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Again, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Again, 
A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Again. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Again. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Again. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Again. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Again. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Again. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Again. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Congratulations! Good job on practicing your intonation. Do this along with your tongue twisters every morning, and you will see the difference. Because as you say certain words, and especially if you're doing it along with my videos, and you can hear my intonations, it'll go up, it'll go down, and that's regular speech. And depending on the language that you use. English, for example, American English specifically, you're gonna have different rises and falls and different words you want to emphasize on and not so much emphasize, so not stress on. And that'll all come into play. So we have to start somewhere, and it starts with awareness. So as long as you keep doing these exercises and when you're doing the tongue twisters, be aware of the up. And down the rise and fall of your tonation, and you will go far just by that alone. Again, if this is something you're interested in, please click on the downloadable PDF below of the advanced tongue twisters and join along. Subscribe, of course, like and comment. Let me know if this is something you like, so I could produce more free content just like this, and it'll really help me out as well. So please hit that like button so I can. Put put more of this out there, and let me know if it does help you or when it does. I love seeing comments of people saying, "Hey, look, I just did this, and I passed my next stage to an interview, or I got a client." I just love hearing those stories because it just makes me happy, and it makes it all worthwhile. So <laughs> please comment below, let me know, and I will see you on the next video. So remember, go out there and raise your vibes. See you then.